Welcome to Toddler Time. I'm Miss Kara, and today we're going to read a book called Peek a Moo. It's about a bunch of different animals playing peekaboo. And then we're going to do a flannel story, and we'll sing a few scarf songs. And at the end, I'm going to do an at home activity for you guys. So, are you ready to dive right in? Okay, here we go. Peek a Moo. This is written by Mar Marie Torres Simarusti and illustrated by Stephanie Peterson. An oink, a moo, a cock, a doodle do. Who's in the barnyard playing peekaboo? Guess who? Pika moo, says the cow. Guess who? Pika oink, says the pig. Guess who? Pika squeak, says the mouse. Guess who? Pika who says the owl. Guess who? Pika cockadoodle do says the rooster. Guess who? Pika ba says the sheep. Guess who? Pika quack says the duck. Guess who? What do you say? Peek a boo, says you. The end. That's Peek a Moo by Marie Torres Simarusti. All right. So I have here, my friend, Little Dog. And Little Dog likes to hide. So where are some places that Little Dog could hide? Let's take a look. We have a chair, we have a cabinet, we have a door, and we have a dog house. So let's take these things down and we're gonna see where little dog likes to hide. <laughs> Good job, little dog. Um, so let's mix them up, mix them up, mix them up. And, all right, see if I can remember where everything went. We have the chair up here, and the cabinet there, and the door was here, and the doghouse was there. Okay. Little dog, little dog, where do you hide? Where do you think little dog is? Behind the chair, behind the cabinet, behind the door, or behind the doghouse? You think little dog is behind the dog house? All right, little dog, little dog, where do you hide? Are you behind the dog house? Let's look inside. Nope, no little dog there. Let's see, what do we have left? A chair, a cabinet, or a door? Little dog, little dog, where do you hide? Where do you think little dog is? Behind the cabinet? Are you behind the cabinet? Let's look inside. <gasps> nope, we only have two choices left. Behind the door or behind the chair, what do you think? You think behind the door? Let's look. Little dog, little dog, where do you hide? Are you behind the door? Let's look inside. No, where could that little dog be? What's that? You think little dog is behind the chair? Well, let's take a look. Little dog, little dog, where do you hide? Are you behind the chair? Let's look inside. Oh, there's that little dog. He is a pretty good hider. Okay, so I'm gonna get out the monkey mitt. Hello, and we're gonna sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. We're gonna start with Old MacDonald. There he is. Say hello to the people, Old MacDonald. Hello. And then we're gonna do, Old MacDonald had a cow. What sound does a cow make? Do you remember? Moo. And then we're gonna say, Old MacDonald had a chicken. Can you say cluck, 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 or bok, bok, whichever makes you happy. 
And lastly, Old MacDonald's gonna have a pig. This pig is dirty. Pigs are often dirty. And what does a pig say? Oink, oink, oink. All right, so here we go. Sing along with me if you know the words. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow. E-I-E-I-O oh, With a moo moo here and a moo moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a chicken. E-I-E-I-O. I'm going to say bok bok. With a bok bok here and a bok bok there. Here a bok, there a bok, everywhere a bok bok. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a pig E-I-E-I-O With an oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Good job singing along, guys. All right, let's do our end of story time scarf song. We're gonna do the popcorn song, so get a scarf. If you don't have a scarf, you can use a napkin or a dish towel or a scarf that you wear around your neck or just a square piece of fabric, any of those will work. And for this song, we're gonna wave our scarves over our head and then we're gonna bunch them up and then when our popcorn pops, we're gonna throw them in the air. Okay, we'll do this song two times. So get your scarf going, ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it till they pop, till they pop. Good job, one more time. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it till they pop, till they pop. Good job, friends. All right, we are going to talk about our at home activity now, so stick around. So today's at home activity is something that you're gonna start today and then you can have it go for as long as you want it to. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch some seeds grow. This one's a little bit messy at the start, but it's very cool. It's a, an interesting introduction to some science concepts. It helps your little ones to learn about uh, growing and to learn more about the world in which they live. So you're gonna need an empty, clean glass jar with a lid, um, I just cleaned out a jar of salsa, and you'll need some water, some paper towels, and then some seeds. Here I'm just using dried pinto beans. Um, you can get seeds from the grocery store, you can use beans that you have in your cupboard, um, you can order seeds from a seed catalog, whatever you wanna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our paper towel pretty wet and then bring it out and then we're gonna put it in this jar. Oof. And we wanna make sure that when we do that, I'm getting water everywhere. We wanna make sure when we do that, that we get the towel right up against the glass of the jar and that way we'll be able to see our seeds growing. So, I'm gonna 
if you have a, if you can't fit your hand in the jar, you can use a, a pencil or a chopstick to kind of move stuff around down in there. All right, so once your paper towel is in the jar, then you can just take your beans and drop them in between the paper towel and the glass jar. And then you wanna pour just a little bit of water in the bottom of the jar every day to make sure that your paper towel stays nice and damp. So I left a hole in the top there and I'm just gonna pour my water in that hole just a little bit just a little bit so you can see there's not a lot of water in there just a little bit and then you put your top on and you put that somewhere where it gets sunlight it doesn't need direct sunlight but it does need to have access to sunlight throughout the day um, and these will continue to grow when they get to be about two inches tall, so like four fingers stuck together, you can move them into dirt and watch them grow for um, into actual full-blown plants, which is kind of fun. Um, I know that in Illinois, we can't put stuff outside until mid-May, like Mother's Day. So you can move these into pots inside and put them in a sunny windowsill, um, but you don't have to. And if you want to speed the process up, I recommend soaking your beans overnight before you stick them in here. So that is today's at-home activity, watching seeds grow. Uh, you can check in every day to see how they're doing, I'll talk about how, um, how they're changing and how they're growing, just like your toddler is changing and growing. And this is just an easy, fun activity um, that you can do at any time. So I hope that that was useful for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.